A Biddeford landlord says CMP overcharged her for nearly two decades. And her case may speak to a bigger issue for everybody, homeowners, tenants, and landlords. CBS 13's Mel Meyer looks at that lawsuit and why getting back her money could be tough. Maureen Veralt has owned two Biddeford apartments since 2005. Started from the first bill, so I had nothing to compare. Her tenants on Main Street pay for their electricity use. She pays the bill for some lights and boiler, which has its own meter. Last fall, a big bill caught her attention. I thought, wow, that's a lot of money. She says that's when she learned Central Main Power had been billing both her and her tenants the delivery fees for these units double charging. In court documents, her lawyers say the company did so intentionally and unlawfully. It's a lot of money over the years that was basically stolen from us and I'm just trying to get it back. Her attorneys also allege another delivery fee charge problem at Veralt's other apartment building on Foss Street. CMP says it reached an agreement with Veralt in 2023 but wouldn't share the details. The company claims Veralt was satisfied, though she says that's not the case. This is a, a tragic situation. The state's public advocate says there's effectively a six-year statute of limitations in billing disputes like this. Take, for instance, a utility undercharged for years. This could limit how much is owed once caught. Statute of limitation under that scenario would protect the ratepayers. But obviously, here's the flip side. Veralt's attorney says they're arguing the charges were fraud and the time limit doesn't apply. The best advice to ratepayers is look at your bill carefully. Harwood says if you see anything concerning, call the utility, the Public Utilities Commission, or the Public Advocate's Office. CMP says it hasn't been served yet and a court date hasn't been set. Mel Meyer, CBS 13 News.